A lingua ignata Latin for unknown language was described by the 12th century abbess of Rupertsburg, St. Hildegard of Bingen, OSB, who apparently used it for mystical purposes. To write it, she used an alphabet of 23 letters denominated literae ignitae. History She partially described the language in a work titled Lingua Ignata per Simplicum Hominem Hildegardum Prolata, which survived in two manuscripts, both dating to ca. 1200, the Wiesbaden Codex and a Berlin MS lot. Quart, 4, 674, previously Codex Cheltenhamensis 9303, collected by Sir Thomas Phillips. The text is a glossary of 10-11 words in lingua ignata, with glosses mostly in Latin, sometimes in German. The words appear to be a priori coinages, mostly nouns with a few adjectives. Grammatically it appears to be a partial relaxification of Latin, that is, a language formed by substituting new vocabulary into an existing grammar. The purpose of lingua ignata is unknown, and it is not known who, besides its creator, was familiar with it. In the 19th century some believed that Hildegard intended her language to be an ideal, universal language. However, nowadays it is generally assumed that lingua ignata was devised as a secret language, like Hildegard's unheard music. She would have attributed it to divine inspiration. Inasmuch as the language was constructed by Hildegard, it may be considered one of the earliest known constructed languages. In a letter to Hildegard, her friend and provost Wolmeris, fearing that Hildegard would soon die, asks Ubi tunc vox inaudite melodiae? Et vox inaudite linguae? De same at, p. 346. Where, then, the voice of the unheard melody? And the voice of the unheard language? Suggesting that the existence of Hildegard's language was known, but there were no initiates who would have preserved its knowledge after her death. Topic. Sample text The only extant text in the language is the following short passage O Orsci's Ecclesia, Armus Divinis Precincta, et Hyacinta Ornata, tu s Caldemia Stigmatum Loifolum et Herbs Scientiarum. O, O tu s Etiam Crisanta in Alto Sono, et s Chorsta Gemma. These two sentences are written mostly in Latin with five key words in lingua ignata, as only one of these is unambiguously found in the glossary. Loifel, people. It is clear that the vocabulary was larger than 1011 words. Higley 2007 finds probable correspondences for two other words. O Orsci's Ecclesia, girded with divine arms, and adorned with hyacinth, you are the Chaldemia of the wounds of the Loifel, and the city of sciences. O, O, and you are the Chrysanta in high sound, and you are the Chorsta gem. Loifel, people, apparently is inflected in Latin, yielding Loifel um. Newman 1987 conjectures the translation, O measureless church, girded with divine arms, and adorned with jacinth, you are the fragrance of the wounds of nations, and the city of sciences. O, oh, O, oh, and you are anointed, amid noble sound, and you are a sparkling gem. The glossary The glossary is in a hierarchical order, first giving terms for God and angels, followed by terms for human beings and terms for family relationships, followed by terms for body parts, illnesses, religious and worldly ranks, craftsmen, days, months, clothing, household implements, plants, and a few birds and insects. Terms for mammals are lacking except for the bat, Uluaria, listed among birds, and the griffin, Argumzio, a half-mammal, also listed among the birds. The first 30 entries are after Roth 1880. Igons, Deus, God. Iagons, Angelus, Angel. Zuins, Sanctus, Saint. Luins, Salvator, Savior. Diwalis, Diabolus, Devil. Isperis, Spiritus. Animwa, Homo, Human Being. Ewer, Veer, Man. Vanix, Femina, Woman. Puieres, Patriarcha. Corzinio, Propheta Falchion, Vates Sunses, Apostolus Lynchial, Martyr Zanzer, Confessor Vrazoil, Virgo Virgin. Jugiza, Vidua Widow. Pangizo, Penitence Cultsfazer, Atavis Great-great-great-grandfather 
Fazer, Avis, grandfather. Puris, Pater, father. Mais, Mailer, sick for mater, mother. Hillsburys, Nutricus, stepfather. Hillsmays, Noverka, stepmother. Sorizon, Phileus, son. Hilshifras, Provignus, stepson. Limskol, infants, infant. Zanes, poor, boy. Zunzial, Iuvenes, youth. Bishanis, adolescents, adolescent. Nominal composition may be observed in Puris, father. Hills Puris, stepfather. Mais, mother. Hills Mais, stepmother. And Sorizon, son. Hills Cypheres, stepson. As well as Fazer, Culls Fazer. Suffixal derivation in Puris, father. Puieres, patriarch. Topic. Additions Wilhelm Grimm 1848, listing only the 291 glosses with German translations Roth 1880, consisting of the 1011 glosses De Seymet, Analecta of Pitra 1882, listing only the 181 glosses giving the names of plants Portman and Ottermatt 1986, Hildegard of Bingen's Unknown Language, an edition, translation, and discussion, ed. Sarah Higley 2007, The Entire Riesencodex Glossary, with additions from the Berlin MS, translations into English, and extensive commentary. See also Glossolalia Artistic language Philosophical language Topic. Literature Trod Bollig, Ingrid Richter, Hildegard von Bingen, Howard and MIT der Kraft ihrer Zimboli, Orem Verlag, ISBN 3-89901-006-X An Esoteric Claim of Decipherment of the Literae 1. Jakob Grimm in, Haupt, Zeitschrift für Deutsches Altertum, v. 321. Hildegard of Bingen's Unknown Language, an edition, translation and discussion by Sarah L. Higley, Palgrave Macmillan, 2007 Lawrence Moulinier, Un lexique trilingue du xiie siècle, la lingua ignata de Hildegard de Bingen. Dans lexiques bilingues dans les domaines philosophiques et scientifiques Moyen Age Renaissance, Actes du colloque international organisé par les colpriques des hautes études ive section et l'Institut supérieur de philosophie de l'Université catholique de Louvain, Paris, 12-14 June 1997, aide. J. Hames, D. Jacquard, Turnhout, Breppels, 2001, p. 89-111. ISBN 2-503-51176-7 Jonathan P. Green, A New Gloss on Hildegard of Bingen's Lingua Ignata, Viator, 36, 2005, p. 217-234. Barbara Newman, Sister of Wisdom, St. Hildegard's Theology of the Feminine Berkeley, University of California Press, 1987. Marie-Louise Portman and Alois Ottermatt eds, Wörterbuch der Unbekannten Sprache, Basel, Verlag Baseler Hildegard Gesellschaft 1986. ISBN 3-905143-18-6 Roth, Friedrich Wilhelm Emil 1895. Glossy Hildegardus. In Steinmeier, Elias, Sievers Eduard. Die Althochdeutschen Glossen, Vol. 3. Berlin, Weimanscher Buchhandlung pp. 390-404. Jeffrey Schnapp. Virgin's Words, Hildegard of Bingen's Lingua Ignata and the Development of Imaginary Languages Ancient to Modern. Exemplaria, 3, 2, 1991, pp. 267-298.